See one of the most well-preserved dinosaur fossils ever discovered, learn about the 200 million year old dinosaur that was dug up from Antarctic ice, and a 20,000 year old woolly rhino encased in Siberian permafrost. These are even more prehistoric creatures scientists found frozen in ice. In March of 2011, Sean Funk, a shovel operator at a mine in Fort McMurray, Alberta, was digging when he made an amazing discovery. A discovery that turned out to be Alberta's oldest dinosaur fossil and one of the best preserved ever found in the entire world. Honestly, this has to be the most amazing dinosaur discovery that I've ever read about. And I think Don Henderson, curator of dinosaurs at the Royal Tyrell Museum, agrees, saying at the time, right away we knew it was going to be something good, but we had no idea how good it was going to be. So after getting the fossil back to the museum, Don and his team got to work, and six years later, the dinosaur was named Borealopelta Marcmichelli. The name Borealopelta means Shield of the North, and the species name honors Mark Mitchell, the museum technician who spent over 7,000 grueling hours removing the dinosaur from rock. Now, I'm not done with this one. There's just too much to talk about with this discovery to cram it into one point. So, as I said, the Borealopelta was incredibly well preserved. It was covered in thick armor, especially around its neck. It also had these massive 20 inch spikes at the shoulders that were assumed to be for fighting, but Victoria Arbor, a curator of paleontology, also thought they might have been a display of health and strength, similar to the horns of a bull or tusks of an elephant. Now here's what's utterly crazy to me though. This dinosaur was so intact, they were able to see what was in its stomach. There were twigs and ferns in there, suggesting it ate during the wet season. Scientists think it could have been swept away by a flash flood, eventually sinking to the bottom of the sea. The body would have flipped over and sank with its thick back and bloated belly causing it to be preserved in sediment, creating a natural time capsule that kept it safe for 110 million years. Here's another crazy thing about this find though. They were even able to determine, to a certain degree, what color the creature was. Most of the fossil was covered in relatively well preserved skin, and from this they were able to study pigment cells called melanosomes. Melanosomes are seen in nature all the time. It's what gives many modern day animals unique markings like spots and stripes. It's rare to see melanosomes in fossils, but again, Boreal Pelta was especially well preserved. At least one component of Boreal Pelta's color was this reddish brown, said Caleb Brown from the Royal Tyrell Museum. The color on its back may have been part of a camouflage pattern called countershading, helping it blend into its environment and avoid predators. Now, also in 2011, a team of paleontologists led by William Hammer discovered a new species of ancient dinosaur in the frozen mountains of Antarctica, an area that's usually thought of as one of the coldest places on Earth, but of course, millions of years ago, it was much warmer. The dinosaur was small, around four to five feet long, and had bird-like hip bones. It was likely related to early plant eaters like the Furbosaur and Heterodontosaur, which were the ancestors of larger and more famous dinos like Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus. The fossils were found on Mount Kirkpatrick, part of the central transatlantic mountains. Hammer and his team uncovered a leg and foot, but they weren't sure if they had found the dinosaur's head. It would take about a year to fully understand what they'd found. Thomas Holtz, a geology professor at the University of Maryland, noted that the find could help fill gaps in both dinosaur evolution and the ancient Antarctic environment, saying that this discovery was from a time when dinosaurs were just starting to take over. Comparing these early small plant eaters to rabbits, fast, common, and without armor, but important to the overall evolution of the giant plant eaters that came later. Finding fossils in Antarctica is extremely challenging because of the harsh conditions and short research window. Hammer have been trying to return to the site since 1990, but bad weather and the and helicopter problems cut short his 2003 trip. As Holtz put it, any time we find fossils there, it's a brand new species. It's practically unexplored territory. So these weren't the only dino remains William Hammer discovered in the mountains of Antarctica. In 1990, he and his team discovered a 22-foot meat-eating dinosaur called Cryolophosaurus. This was a big deal because it was the first dinosaur ever found in Antarctica. Cryolophosaurus was a meat-eating dinosaur that lived around 190 90 million years ago during the early Jurassic period. It was about 20 to 23 feet long, 6 to 7 meters, and weighed roughly 1,000 pounds. What really sets this dinosaur apart was its unique crest. The crest 
found on the top of its head had a very unusual shape, kind of like a frozen backwards mohawk. There are like two kind of things here. It's believed that the crest could have been used for display, either to attract mates or to communicate with other members of its species. As Hammer put it, it looked like a frozen crested reptile, which is how they got the name Cryolophosaurus, meaning frozen crested lizard. And again, in the early 1990s, William Hammer of Augustana College discovered more incredible fossils on Mount Kirkpatrick. These particular fossils included parts of a foot, leg, and ankle bones from a long necked dinosaur that lived around 190 million years ago. It wasn't until much later, though, that the fossil was identified. The fossils were painstakingly removed from the ice and rock using jackhammers, rock saws, and chisels under extremely difficult conditions, said Nathan Smith, a graduate student at the Field Museum in Chicago. After a lot of hard work, Smith and paleontologist Diego Pohl realized they'd found a new species of dinosaur, which they named Glaciallosaurus hammeri. This dinosaur was about 20 to 25 feet long and would have weighed between four to six tons. It belonged to a group called Sauropotomorphs, which includes some of the largest dinosaurs ever. Think of those massive-sized, long-necked plant eaters. Around 20,000 years ago, a young woolly rhinoceros was going about its day in what's now northern Siberia. It was probably foraging for food when it made an oopsie and drowned in a river. Fast forward to 2020 and that same woolly rhino became a huge discovery for scientists. As rising temperatures cause permafrost to melt, creatures like this long extinct rhino are being uncovered, giving researchers a glimpse into prehistoric times. Permafrost is a layer of soil that's been frozen for thousands of years, great for preserving ancient remains. The woolly rhino's carcass was found by a local farmer in Yakutia, Siberia, about 15,000 years after the species went extinct. The fossil was incredibly well preserved, with its fur, hooves, and internal organs still intact. But what made this discovery even more special was the rhino's horn, which is rarely found in such good condition because cartilage usually decomposes relatively quickly. In 2018, a local man named Pavel Efimov made an incredible discovery in Siberia, the severed head of a giant wolf perfectly preserved beneath the permafrost. But this wolf was nearly 40,000 years old. It wasn't until 2019 that researchers started studying it in detail. The big question they were trying to answer was whether the wolf's head had been chopped off by humans or separated by ice. The cut on the wolf's neck wasn't what you'd expect from ice separation. It was rougher, less smooth, meaning it might have been made by something like a tool. The severed head is quite large, measuring about 40 centimeters, much bigger than the typical 25 centimeter head of a modern Siberian wolf. It had a thick mammoth-like coat, sharp fangs, and some parts of its skull seemed more developed than today's wolves. In 2016, ornithologist Stephen Emsley made a surprising find during a research trip in Antarctica. He stumbled on ancient penguin remains at Cape Urzar near the Ross Sea, and what he discovered there was unlike anything he'd seen before. Now, at first, Emsley was researching ancient penguin remains at the site following a lead about penguin droppings. He didn't expect to find much since explorers like Robert Falcon Scott and Ernest Shackleton hadn't recorded any penguin sightings in the area. But when Emsley arrived, he found something unexpected. White splotchy guano stains and loose chick bones, which usually indicate that a penguin colony had recently occupied the site, but that wasn't the case. Investigating further, he found complete penguin chick carcasses and even intact mummies. The site must have been covered by snow and ice soon after the colony was last abandoned, preserving the surface remains for centuries, Emsley went on to write. The site had been used by penguins at different times in the past, with carbon dating showing it was occupied three times starting around 5,000 years ago. The site's location and the penguins' repeated visits were likely because of changing ice conditions, which would open and close the coast to the penguins. Emsley believes that this area could potentially see penguins returning in the future as climate change melts the sea ice earlier each summer, giving them access to the coast again. In 2018, some fossil ivory hunters in northeastern Siberia made a pretty cool discovery. While digging into the permafrost, they unearthed the carcass of a bird, but this bird was a 46,000-year-old specimen, perfectly frozen in time. The discovery was sent to paleontologist Love Dallin and a team of researchers at the Swedish Museum of Natural History. The bird is believed to be an ancestor of the horned lark, which is found in places like northern Russia and Mongolia today. It's a cool find, though. The first bird of its kind 
kind ever to be discovered. The fact that the bird was almost completely intact made it one of the best preserved ancient animals ever found. The bird was found near Balayagora, a village in Yakutia, an area known as the Pole of Cold because of its extremely cold winters, sometimes reaching as low as minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is roughly minus 50 degrees Celsius. That is just too cold. The researchers think that the end of the last ice age led to the formation of a new subspecies of animals like this bird. The discovery adds to a list of well-preserved creatures found in the same area, like a 42,000-year-old foal and an 18,000-year-old puppy, both of which I've talked about in previous videos. So with all that said, I've been your host James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.